Yes. Oh god. The, the most turtle playstyle of all characters and the jankiest character in yeah. the game. Let's, Let's see how go. this goes. Uh, I don't know. Game & Watch can bucket explosions, but he probably yeah. can't bucket the, the physical hit because Ken's technically a physical or one physical hit and then yeah. an explosion. That's why you can't uh, you can't absorb it with magnet, so he probably can't bucket anything here. But you know, Kofu, he's got that grab game, but he's gonna be dying really early if Salty Doge can get the kills. So But Salty Doge yeah. does talk about a lot how Duck Hunt mm -hmm. just Duck can't Hunt just kill. he does not have true kill confirms. You know, Smash 4, every top tier character has guaranteed ways to get kills at high percent. That's and what I mean, except Duck for Hunt, Sheik. Yeah, except for Sheik. Or that at least they have 50-50s, but Duck, yeah. Duck Hunt kind of has to fish for it a little bit. Duck Hunt just has to play really smart. The uh -huh. fact that Raito is able to do so well with this character is yeah. a miracle. Oh! <laughs> that F-Smash is going to do it. Oh, Salty Doge. No. Yeah, catching him on that Smashville platform. We were talking about how Game Watch is going to die early. He just got F-Smashed at the ledge with the platform. All right, that was good by Kofu not falling into that F-Smash bait there. I've seen Salty Doge have been going for that re a lot recently. He'll like down throw people and like try to bait them with an F smash. He'll try to bait the air dodge with like a short hop and then quickly drop down with an F smash. Uh huh. Kofu gets a grab. He probably shouldn't go for the nine, but I hope he does. Oh, oh that's damn. gonna kill. Yep. That's light boy. Jeez. Okay, this is pretty even again, especially with how light Game Watch is. This is fairly even. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna be a grab. A grab. That's, that's a lot a of damage. All right, you kind of hunt. Tries to hunt out an air dodge, not gonna get it. Then we're gonna oh, get some combos. Go. Uh, that Duck Hunt has pretty good low percent strings with that, you know, forward air yeah. kind of chasing along the ground, getting but re -grabs, His, his biggest problem is high percent combos. Right. He, he does have some stuff with can, but if you're just aware of where the can is and you DI it right, the can will never hit you. All right, and that two toot's gonna be killing probably like five more percent. If he can hit it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's pretty it's hard to get. It's incredibly inconsistent. It's, All a right. it's a very strong kill confirm. Yeah. It's very oh, oh, good tech. That that was actually an incredible tech. Oh. I would have missed that. For sure. Alright, um Ray oh. oh he's gonna read that roll. It's gonna the get roll that, read to the that down smash. Long, that long hitbox. The down smash. We Kofu may. will take game one. If Kofu wins this, this will be considered an upset. Interesting. By the bracket projection. I'd say these two players are fairly evenly matched. Yeah. Salty Doge kind of not been playing for a long time, just barely came back like a couple months ago. Uh, Salty Doge kind of has that upset potential, though. I, f I feel like he can beat anyone, you know? Like, last month he got, like, 13th or something, and then, like, two months ago he got, like, 4th or 3rd. Yeah. So. I feel it just mainly if Salty Doge can... If he, mm. if he can keep his mental state in check, because he's prone to just right. becoming salty. He can, he can fall... He can kind of fall apart mentally, but if he keeps his mental state there... It's a matter. He gets tilted very easily. Yeah. But all right. So let's see how things go here. I don't think it's good for Duck Hunt in this matchup to take those trades. I think that Duck Hunt is a character where trades are definitely not a good thing because. Oh. All right. It looks like we get a missed input. He's gonna hit the can yes. instead we of. We may be getting a pretty early set. This may be it. All right, oh, I think Kofu was going for that suicide back air drag. That probably would have killed, but... Oh, <laughs> no! Goes for it, gets the four. All right, this is this is going to be tough. I mean, Game & Watch yeah. is in kill percent. Very light character, but... He's got the rage right now. No, just two. Yeah, Bryce is hooked up to the PS4. He's going to hit him away. Don't know if he has uh, a that, that is Oh, great oh, tech. Good tech, good tech. Oh. Hammer, not yet. Forward smash might have been All right. the better option. This is a uh, this is quite a deficit. If if Matt can bring this back, this will be one mm. heck of a comeback. But for now, uh, that SD was very uh, very almost throws him into the can. Game and watch quiet. with a very good amount of rage right now. All right, now. there's oh, the upper. There you go. This is a doable comeback. Gets him with the gunner combo. Those gunners are just so weird because it's random which you want to spawn. Uh -huh. And each one but of has course, a different. You know, a player of Salty Doge's caliber is going to know what each gunner does. He's going to keep track of who's been out in the rotation so far. The ro you know, it is random who comes out, but, but the it last, is a rotation. the last one used will never be the next one to come out. All right, barely making it back with the up. Oh, 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 scouts out oh, the roll, but oh, oh, oh. 
misses the timing a little bit, maybe a tiny bit too slow. But all right. Oh, this is very, very doable. doable for Salty Doge. This he's is just got almost. Oh, oh, but he's going to he, scout he out that roll again. Rolled again into the up smash. Yeah, almost got that comeback though. That was really good play. He really kept it together until the end there. Aaron Kovu is going to take that 2-0, advancing into winner's side. Top.